Hey everyone, welcome to Let the Light in TV. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. We're gonna talk about software. So, first of all, quick little 30 second story time. Whenever I was in college going for television broadcasting, uh, the software that I was trained on and that my tuition covered was the Adobe Creative Cloud. So that's what we used uh, in college. After that, I got tired of Adobe um, robbing me every year. And so I set out to learn about free alternatives. And since then, I have made the switch to free software. So everything that I do, editing my photos, um, whether that kind of be Photoshop or like a Lightroom type editing, and also editing my videos, is all done on free software. And this is something that I like enough to share with you. And hopefully, hopefully, sorry, hopefully, Maybe you have a couple tips of some things that I don't know about, which I would love to hear about in the comments if you've got some resources to use. So, first up, uh, we're gonna cover three different alternatives. We're gonna cover a, um, a Premiere Pro alternative, we're gonna cover a Photoshop alternative, and then we're gonna cover a Lightroom alternative. So, because this is a video-oriented channel, let's talk about the Premiere alternative. So video editing is first, and here is DaVinci Resolve on my desktop. This is a free software. So before, I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a project here. Before, what would happen is you could edit a video totally within Premiere Pro, but if you wanted some kind of extra nice titles or some effects or that kind of stuff, then you'd have to open things in After Effects. Um, if you wanted to do editing, you'd have to edit it in Adobe Audition. You'd have to start either hyperlinking stuff or just moving stuff around and it got sometimes to be a bit of a mess. Here in DaVinci Resolve, again, this is a free software, there are paid for pro features, but you can, they're not, they're not going to really limit you in any way. You're not really missing out on anything by getting the free version. I mean, some of the effects uh, in the pro version that you have to pay for are like, if I remember correctly, it's like binocular vision. So how often are you using that, right? So as you can see here, uh, coming from Premiere Pro, this is going to be a really quick transition. That was something that I was worried about. Am I gonna have to learn a whole new software? I don't wanna do it. Like, is that even worth not spending the money? Um, but it is quite familiar. So there's different tabs here. I'm not gonna give a full tutorial. I'm trying to keep this video quick. But just a quick little overview, you have different tabs. So this is a cutting tab where you can cut all your footage down. Next up, you have your editing tab where you can start having your timeline on the bottom and you start layering your different footage. Um, next up, we have the fusion tab. This is like your After Effects tab. So you don't have to bring your After Effects to a whole new different app like you kind of used to before and link it or do whatever you had to do to not cause errors. This is the Fusion tab. It is a whole lot different than After Effects, I will tell you that. But fortunately, there are enough YouTube videos online to support your learning and um, transition into using DaVinci Resolve if you so choose to do so. Next up, we have our Coloring tab, and there's a bunch of different powerful cutting, uh, coloring tools within DaVinci Resolve so that you can get the look that you want. Next up, we have Audio Editing, and then after that, we have Delivery. So, if you're looking to video edit for free, DaVinci Resolve. Next up, we have a couple, actually, of online websites. So our first one is a Photoshop replacement. So it is called Photopea. It is um, literally Photoshop online for free. How is this legally allowed? I don't know. Am I using an illegal site? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, but... Uh, so Photopea. You go, you hit new project, you open it up, there's a bunch of different templates here. I usually stick to 1920 by 1080 because I edit YouTube thumbnails on here. There's a bunch of different uh, templates that you could pick, nice veggies right there. So we're gonna go ahead, create our new project. And what you see is it is literally Photoshop online. So there you go, your Photoshop replacement, photopia.com. Finally, we're gonna talk about a Lightroom replacement. Now this is probably going to be the most difficult to find the best replacement. I have found something called Polar. Now there's two versions of it. I'm using uh, the newer website version of it. And 
uh, it does a really fantastic job. I have tried out um, other alternatives. I haven't liked them as much because the workflow from Lightroom is different and all the terms are different. I don't wanna have to learn all that. I want something, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty picky for someone using free, free alternatives. I, I want something where I can recreate my Lightroom workflow somewhere else. So here, uh, actually here's, here's a fun thing. So we can go ahead and open a photo and you'll see here are previously edited photos down here on the bottom left. Funny thing is these are actually on my hard disk drive, which is over in another room right now, not even connected to my computer. How does it keep these here and available to edit? I, I don't know, <laughs> but it is able to bring up past photos. Now, this is a whole lot like Lightroom, but as you're gonna see on the screen right here, it says you're currently using Pro Features. You have one free export left today. This is the extreme limitation of using Polar. So if, again, if you have an alternative, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. So what is a Pro Feature, you say? Uh, how, like, do I X off the video right now? Is this just absolutely useless? Well, first of all, let's go through our, our workflow here. It is ordered very, very similar to Lightroom. Everything's here on the right hand side. So we've got all of our photo editing type stuff. You can see detail is a pro feature. So clarity, uh, sharpness, noise, vignetting is free. Your HSL tab is pro and your curves are pro. Um, curves, you can bring that up. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate that all of that is locked behind a pro paywall and you can only export one free photo a day. So you may have to uh, invest in Polar if you are looking to use these pro features, which pretty much pretty much everyone uh, is going to. You may be able to get around it, but you're not necessarily possibly gonna be able to get the look that you want. So that is the Lightroom alternative. It's called polar.com. So again, we have the video alternative, which is for video editing, it's called DaVinci Resolve. We have our Photoshop alternative, which is literally Photoshop online called Photopea. And then we have our, our Lightroom alternative, which is Polar. Um, luckily for me, I'm kind of slow in editing my photos and, and I can do the one export a day, but um, that is quite a hard limiting factor. So wrapping all of this up, if you've got a Lightroom specifically alternative, uh, as well as any other alternative. Love to hear it down in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. These are three free editing pieces of software slash websites. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to let the light in.